look at an arithmetic sequence. 8, 15, 22, 29. Notice it goes up by 7 each time. Plus 7, 15, plus 7, 22, plus 7, 29. And D is 7. That's called the common difference. The first term is 8. That's T1. The fourth term, 1, 2, 3, 4, is 29. N equals 4. So T sub 4 equals 29. Let's look at A. Reading through the problem, you see the first term is 75. The common difference is 15. The value of the 61st term is what we're looking for, so we know that it is the 61st term, but we just don't know its value. T1 is 75, that's the first term. The common difference is 15, that's D. N equals 61 because we're looking for the 61st term. And we don't know the value of that term, so T sub 61 is unknown. Here's the general formula for an arithmetic sequence that with the tn, etc., etc. And what we need to do is to figure out how each of the pieces fits in. That's why the color. t sub n, that's what we don't know, so we're looking for t61. The very first term is 75. Since we're looking for the 61st term, n is 61. And the common difference is 15. From here on out, it's all algebra. T61 equals 75 plus 60 times 15. T61 is 75 plus 900. T61 is 975. Here's part B, also focusing on the same formula. The 15th term, that means n is 15, with value 33 first term 12 and what we're looking for is the second third and fourth terms so n equals 15 and we know the value t sub 15 is 33 the very first term t sub 1 is 12 and what we don't know is the common difference here's the overall formula t sub n equals t sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's fill in each of the pieces that we know in green, t sub 1, uh, 15, that's 33, t sub 1 in blue, that's 12, n is 15 minus 1 times d, we do not know the common difference. Here's the algebra. 33 equals 12 plus 14 times d, etc, etc. Do all the work, what you end up with is a common difference of 1.5. What we're looking for are the second, third, and fourth terms. We know that the first term is 12, so if we start with 12 and add 1.5 three times in a row, we will have all of the terms.